All right, let's check in uh, on the weather. What a wild night it was last night and a beautiful sky. And today, lots of sunshine, too. Here's Christy. Thanks so much, Chris. Yeah, if you were caught in the rain last night, for it was brief, uh, but boy, was it stormy, just torrential. And today was beautiful. And we have more of this great weather on the way, that's for sure. So here's a quick look at what we're contending with. Why am I not able to click? There we go. Oh, right. I wanted to show you this quickly. It's Thursday. So we, every Thursday, get an update from the BC Drought Portal. And I wanted to show you the improvement that the northeastern corner of the province has had. All the rest of the province has remained the same over the last week. We still have some key areas at a level five. That's the upper Fraser River area and the West Kootenai region. But we've had some good improvement in the Fort Nelson region, dropping it down to a level four. That's still pretty high. We still need some more moisture before the ground freezes in the winter. Uh, but uh, that's some improvement. Now, we don't have any rain in the forecast right now, though. We do have a system off in the distance here, but because of our ridge of high pressure, it's really going to weaken and not bring anything. In fact, we've got a surge in warmth expected for our Thanksgiving weekend. These are the daytime highs potentially on Sunday, where areas like Fort St. John are going to be 10 degrees above seasonal for this time of year. So as we head into tomorrow, although we're going to see a little bit of cloud cover, we're going to see that ridge of high pressure strengthen. So high teens expected for those of you in the southern interior and for our region, we'll see high teens as well. Cooler by the water with about 14 degrees, but up to 18 degrees away from the water. A bit of cloud cover in the mix for tomorrow, but lots of sunshine Saturday and Sunday. At this point, though, I think you can count on a chance of showers on Thanksgiving Monday, though, Chris. At least we carve out two days of the long mm. weekend really nicely. It's going to be beautiful. Thanks very much, Christy. All right, what a beautiful day today and more on the way as we approach the Thanksgiving long weekend. Here's Christy with the details. Thanks so much, Chris. Well, it's a beautiful evening out there right now. A uh, far cry from what we had last night. If you were caught in that downpour of rain, you know exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, we had lightning and uh, rainbows. It was a bit of everything, but a beautiful and calm evening out there. And as Chris mentioned, more of this on the way. I want to quickly show you this. Every Thursday, the drought porter gives us an update as to how we're doing in terms of the drought. And we have not seen a change across southern portions of the province or the central portions, but we have seen a change in the Fort Nelson region. That's one of the key areas that we've been watching because of the excessive drought two years now and the chance of holdover fires in that area. So we need some good moisture in that region and we've had some improvement. They're still at a level four. We need more moisture in that region and we're really hoping that we do get that uh, in the next couple of months before the ground freezes and it's tougher to get that moisture in the ground. But we're not going to get it over the next couple of days, that's for sure. This system here will weaken as it makes its way towards us. We'll see a little bit of cloud cover, but that's about it. A ridge of high pressure will strengthen. And by Sunday, daytime highs could be 10 degrees above seasonal in the Fort St. John region, five degrees above seasonal across southern BC. In the meantime, this is your Friday, everyone. Yes, we'll see a little bit of cloud cover tomorrow, but it will be bright, it will be warm, and we're expecting this to last through Saturday and Sunday for coastal regions. And for those of you in the interior, it looks like it'll last right through your Thanksgiving Monday. Whereas coastal regions, we are going to see a change likely on our Thanksgiving Monday, but Saturday Sunday certainly look good before a few showers shift in on Thanksgiving. Now, tonight's central windows weather window is, of course, of last night. This one was captured from the Second Arrows Bridge or the Iron Workers Bridge in North Vancouver. Courtney capturing both the rainbow and the lightning strikes at the same time. We had many photos like this, so thank you to all of our weather watchers who share great photos. Chris, back to you. We don't give out prizes, but if we did, that'd be a winner. That's a great one Absolutely. from Courtney. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Christy. All right, there's Squire with uh, a look at sports. Canucks licking their wounds a little bit today. Now, that was a bit of a weird one last night. It to looked like the they had it. Awesome. Okay, uh, we're not too far away from this long weekend for Thanksgiving and mm -hmm. smooth sailing, I guess. Uh, we'll stay with that theme, at least for part of it. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll start things off with a bit of cloud cover on Friday, but generally beautiful conditions and temperatures will soar Saturday and Sunday. So enjoy the couple of days. I know it looks a little wetter for Thanksgiving, but you know, it's still days away. We can refine it as we get closer. Yeah, it's a good mix. Thanks for watching everyone. See you tomorrow.